Today we're going to start adding stained glass to the clay. All of the glass will be done at the back table for safety reasons. When you get to the back table, you're going to cover everything with a newspaper. So go ahead and cover the entire back table. And then you'll also need a pack of papers for yourself. There'll be safety glasses back here. Be sure to wear those. We don't want to have any glass going anywhere. So anyone at the back table must wear the glasses. If there are not enough, I do have a drawer full of um, more glasses. When you're looking for glass, we have the glass in big tubs like this. It's at the back in the tin cabinet. If you're looking through here, you can either take kind of a piece of glass and kind of push the other out of the way. Just obviously don't drag your hand through it. Find the different colors that you need. Some of the different things we do have, we have some of the glasses where you can see through the different pieces and some of them where you can't. And how those lay in your piece will depend on what you see. So if I have them like this, I would still be able to see that white through here, but if I put the white on top, I can't see through that. An example would be this one has some clear green in it plus that white that you can't see through. And notice how it blocks everything else out around it, but yeah, you can still see a little bit of green. I'll have these examples as well up front if you need to see anything. And I also have this one. This has different colors of blue in it. Some of them you can see through and some you can't. And it also has pieces of clear. And I would recommend adding those. They look kind of neat because it looks like ice underneath, like in water, has that type of effect with it. And it also has the light blue in here. So those will be available for you to look at. This one is another example. These are from the jewelry class. Added glass into the pendants. You'll find a few pieces that have the foil around it. This is for stained glass. Don't put that in this project. They'll actually just be pieces of metal that are sticking up in there. So if you have a piece of glass that does that, just pull it out. And the mirrors will not be a mirror when it's in this piece. It will actually burn up in the kiln and it'll just look like a piece of just burned up foil basically. So don't use those. So as I'm looking, Pretend that I've decided on using these pieces. I'm gonna add a couple more in there. If you don't care, there are yogurt containers back here full of different things. Some of them are labeled and some of them are just miscellaneous where people have broken up glass and they didn't need all of it. This is where you'll put any little pieces that get broken up when you're all done because we don't want the tiny, tiny ones in these tubs. So when you've decided on your glass, the best way to break that up is to get a pack of paper. Make sure it's at least three sheets thick, if not more. And I'm going to stack the pieces of glass up that I intend to break. So say I'm going to use these guys. Then I'm going to fold a pocket with the newspaper. So fold one side from the top and one from the bottom. And then also the sides. This way, when you use the hammer to break this up, Glass won't blow out the side and somebody will get hurt. So I'm folding this all up into a little pocket and I would take the hammer and break that up. Make sure it isn't ripping through here. If it is, you didn't use enough paper and that also jeopardizes the safety back here for everyone else. So get another piece of paper if you need it. So some of these are broken up and some are not. So if the ones that I wanted are broken up, I could stop. But if I need these other ones, I might try again to try to fold that up. Make sure to kind of stack it. That'll help. Okay, so now I have some nice broken up pieces. Depending on the space that I left for glass will depend on how small this needs to be. Some of these bigger pieces will be really close to fitting in there for me. But if you have narrower pieces, you'll need smaller pieces of glass. So I might put some of those in there. If you had a bigger space, you could just fold the paper and pour it in like that. Mine is not that big, so I'm not gonna pour that in. You want a heaping pile of glass, so a little above level. So if this was my piece, maybe just a little bit like that. If you only fill to level, what happens is the glass will take up less space. So it's like ice when it melts. After it melts, it takes up less space. So this will all condense down. So you wanna have a pretty good amount of glass in there. 
Be very careful as you're picking this up because if you see any sparkly pieces, that's glass dust. And that hurts almost more if you get cut by that. So as long as you're not raking your hand through this, you'll be fine. So once I get that filled up, I might go ahead and do those as well. If I'm all done, then I can put the remainder of my glass in here. Some of these are labeled, so if it says clear and you have clear glass, try to keep them separated. A lot of these are just mixed. So after I've thrown this in here, make sure not to leave a pile of glass back here. That means somebody else cannot work right there, and it's also not safe. So be sure to take care of your glass before you move on. I would go ahead and throw this piece of paper away because it has the glass dust on it. I'm gonna put this glass over here. So I put it back in the center. And then I'm ready to add the clear glaze. The clear glaze, like we said before, is labeled. It says clear up here. There also might be a yogurt container of clear glaze back here as well. You could use that. Be sure you have a clean brush. Either brushes will work. And you're just gonna drizzle on the glaze. This helps hold the glass into place. So while I'm loading the kiln, that'll help it not spill everywhere. It makes it less stressful for me. It'll also add a cool effect to your glass. So make sure it is the clear. So I'm just drizzling it. I'm trying not to touch my brush on the glass so I don't have to worry about it sticking and getting in the bottle. I usually put a pretty good amount on there. If you get clear on top, it's up to you what you wanna do about it. You can leave it on there. It'll kind of look like clear nail polish after it's been fired. If you wanna kind of smooth that out, you can. Um, some people I've talked to had a matte glaze and they wanna put the clear over it to help make it shiny. You could do that as well. It's not gonna hurt anything. The other thing I need to do is I'll have to pick it up carefully, look underneath it to make sure there's no clear glaze underneath. Because if you are working near a lot of people and accidentally set it down on there, that means there'll be glaze on there. So when you go to put it in the back, I'm just going to look underneath and double check. I might just go ahead and take a sponge and wipe it under there just like we did before. So when you're done, see if anybody else is working back here. At the end of the hour, I will say... Anyone who helped with glass or worked with glass needs to help clean up. So you're gonna take part in the cleanup. So I have my tile. Once you have the glaze in there, it's ready to be put in the back. Someone will wash the brushes. You'll take the glass and put it back in the cabinet. The hammers go back and then this paper. So hopefully everyone is taking care of their individual papers. So in the back, if you would just roll, roll it like this to make sure not to lose any crumbs from any of the glass. Or if you have any big chunks of glass, this is how you would get rid of it. So you wanna make sure to fold everything up like this. Somebody would take this to the garbage. The other thing that needs to be done is the dustpan and broom, which are hanging in the back. Have someone go across, double check to make sure all the glass is cleaned up. You will also wanna check your shoes or if you have cuffs to make sure a piece of glass didn't fall on the floor so you don't wanna track that home with you. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Otherwise, you're ready to do glass.